Hi there guys. Well just uh, looking at a video from Ron Wyatt and I came across the start of this video and you can see there's plain differences. There's more of a slight gap between Italy and Sicily, between Spain and Africa and North and South America seem to be aligned again as they were. And uh, the biggest and most obvious one according to this uh, map is that the North Pole is back. In today's map um, there's no landmass in the North Pole but as we remember you know <laughs> you know the, the, the first expeditions to the North Pole um, you know they put their little flags up there and all that which they don't exist now <laughs> you know if you look at the history books um, but in this one I, I'm not sure when this video was made I would I would guess probably late 80s maybe early 90s um, the map is still as a lot of us remember so let's just run the start of this okay you can see more of a gap there there we go the North Pole is back where it was where we all remember it you know the cap of the world the top of the world and just going back slightly we see that South America is lined with North America just as we remember it now it's like way over here somewhere it's about a thousand miles further over towards Africa now you can see it's just a line there Let's see it again one more time. Definite more defined gap between Sicily and Italy. Now it's uh, if you look at a map today, right now, or any map that you like, it's uh, almost joining, touching. You can see there's, there's there's a definite gap there, and obviously there's. There's two islands there now. There just seems to be one at, at this point. There's actually, well, maybe you can just about see two there, but there is meant to be two islands, but I think it's just showing about one there. See what else we can see. Um, Canary Islands are a bit more defined. There is a large volcano there that if this volcano erupts just uh, off the coast of West Africa, you know, it will cause um, trouble for Spain and parts of parts of Europe there. A lot of people think that New York City are going to be tsunamied and, and that this uh, volcano here in the Canary Islands could cause something like that, but it would cause a lot more than just one volcano erupting. It would have to be a number of them. To, to gain I think a significant tsunami and even then if it started here you know more likely be sort of spread out to the islands towards this area but um, you know the vision I got was that you know when the meteor strikes according to the book of Revelation it's the North Pacific you know that this part of the United States is affected a lot more than, than this part but I think the, the whole world's going to be affected you know, as it says in uh, Jeremiah twenty five thirty two, you know the coastal event, a great Talmud, a great King James word. Just see there are line North and South America, just about um, the way re we remember it. There's, there's more of a defined um, edge to to North America now. It's sort of straight up. If if, if you look at it on the map, it just goes sort of straight. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. North Pole is back where it should be. Have a good night. God bless.